Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about streams. Now basically what a stream is, is it's the what you used to exchange data between uh, files, memory, or maybe a network. So you can send bytes of data uh, back and forth. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is write some text to a text file. So we'll go ahead and click new project we will select Windows Forms application and we will call it streams okay so let's go ahead and make this uh, resize it a little bit so we'll add a text box and we will make it multi-line by clicking the arrow and selecting multi-line so now we can drag this out and make it a little bit bigger let's come up here and add a button now we'll set the text of this button to write and we'll set the name to button write and we'll set the name of text box one to text to write so now let's go ahead and double click on write to create an event handler for that so we'll just zoom in some here now what we need to do is create a stream writer so we can write to a text file so we'll come up here and to be able to do that we need to type in import system.io and io stands for um, input output so we'll create a new stream writer now so we'll type private my writer as new stream writer and for the arguments we're going to need a path so I'll just do it in my G drive and I'll call the, the file my file dot text so it's going to look for this file and if it doesn't find it then it's just going to create it for you so now what we're going to do is let's take the text that the user typed in and whenever they click, click write um, it'll go ahead and write that to the text file so we will type my writer dot write line which is similar to the console apps that we learned um, close to the beginning of the series um, so we're gonna write line and we're gonna write whatever's in the text box so text to write dot text so it's gonna write that to uh, the text file now there's one problem with this if we go ahead and click write and it'll write that to the text file if we try to open that text file you're not gonna see any changes made to it because in order for the changes to take place we're gonna to have to close that file so let's move this button over here a little bit we'll add another button and we'll set the text to close file and we'll set the name to button close so whenever they click close file and they're finished writing um, we'll just go ahead and type my writer dot close so this will close the file and all of our changes will take effect now we'll go ahead and open up my G drive um, and you can see that there's no text file in here right now we'll go ahead and minimize that now if we run this it creates that text file so you can see that it created my file right here and currently it doesn't have anything in it you can see that right there so we'll close out of that we'll minimize this so let's just write hello world we can write that to it and we could also have it clear this text box every time we click write just to make it a little bit more user friendly uh, then we'll say uh, just on live gamer we'll write that and you can see that whenever we write it doesn't actually save the changes to our text document so in order to save the changes we have to click close file now if we come over here and open up my file we get it looks like we get hello world and on live gamer so we could change this to save file that would look a little, a little bit better but uh, that's just something that you can do so basically we just made a stream writer and it accessed this file right here and since it wasn't there it created it and then we wrote whatever was in the text box to it and then when they're done working with it we click close 
so that it will save the changes to that file. So go ahead, practice with some stream writers, uh, and then once you've done that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.